Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Happy Sunday. It's Sunday morning and I have had a good lie-in this morning. Honestly, I can't remember the last time I had a proper lie-in. I did get up at around five o'clock and I looked at the time and I thought, no, not today. Today is the weekend and I need to make the most of it. So I actually went back to bed for about an hour and a half, which I'm so glad I did because I feel like I needed to catch up on some sleep like desperately so I did that this morning I just lied in bed you know as you do scrolling on your phone I was trying to like I said make the most of it and relax and then Hannah comes into my room and then guess what happened do you know the like corner unit thing that I have in my room with all my perfumes and um, candles on there well she decided to open up the bomb drawer and as she did that she pushed on it and the whole thing came flying down. And I shot up so fast because the last thing I wanted was for it to fall on her. And I just caught it and she was screaming. Obviously she got really scared and stuff, but she's fine. However, I cut the bottom of my foot by standing on like some broken glass because one of my husband's um, aftershaves, it actually fell and it kind of chipped off some of the glass from the back. So that's what the glass was from. And then she also um, knocked everything off the shelf. And um, one of my little cute little vases with some pampas um, from B&M smashed. So I was gutted, but that can be replaced. Everything else is absolutely fine. All of my perfumes are absolutely fine, which I was really worried about. Um, and then I've got some really nice candles and a lot of the stuff is glass because that's just the ones that I've got there. And you know what? Main thing is she's absolutely fine. She didn't get hit or touched by anything. Um, but yeah, I've told her, please don't go in the drawers. And she does this downstairs with the kitchen units as well. If she opens up like one of the drawers, she'll lean on it. And obviously if you've got something that's freestanding and you're leaning on it, it's gonna fall. So she's never gonna touch that again. She knows that. Um, and yeah, I've just been cleaning up. So this morning, I didn't plan to do this, but I ended up hoovering up um, all of upstairs and all of that because I didn't want any like little pieces of glass or any pieces of um, whatever the material was from the, the little vase. Yeah, I didn't want any sort of chips because I cut my foot and I knew that that can happen to anyone else. So yeah, I've cleaned up. Everything's all done now. I end up losing an earring as well. I don't know where the hell that is. Um, I've looked everywhere. Obviously, I can't lift up my bed. It's super, super heavy, and it's not a bed that you can lift. My mattress alone weighs a ton. Um, so yeah, I tried to like put my torch on on my phone and have a look, but I couldn't see anything. So yeah, I've lost an earring, and they are the earrings that I usually wear. So now I've had to resort to the bigger ones, which I don't really wear often, but I hate not having earrings in. I don't know if that's just me. But yeah, anyway, I thought today I would film a just spend the day with me. Um, no plans. So yesterday was Saturday and we actually did end up going out. So me and the girls ended up walking for about an hour and a half. Um, and we ended up going to my cousin's house. Um, we spent a couple of hours there and then we came home after that. Um, but yeah, it was a nice little walk, to be honest. I'm saying little. It took about an hour and a half. We made some pit stops on the way. We had, a, we had to stop off on a few shops. I returned a couple of parcels from Amazon. Um, so yeah, the journey ended up being an hour and a half. So by the time I got there, I was like, never again. Because this time of year is so busy anyway. People are like getting ready for Christmas, I guess, buying all their little bits and bobs. And with it being a Saturday, everyone's pretty much off and it was hard i had a whole handbag packed full of stuff because obviously i had two parcels in there to begin with that i was dropping off on the way and then i had like their water bottles i had hats just in case i had my umbrella just all my extras i even took the camera with me thinking it would be a nice little stroll and i'd film you know what i'm doing but no chance because i had hold of both girls um, because we're crossing busy roads and things like that. So yeah, that was quite hectic. Um, so today is Sunday, uh, dreading a new week tomorrow, honestly. I've really enjoyed this weekend. Normally I'm not too 
bothered about weekends but this weekend I've honestly enjoyed it knowing it's my free weekend and actually from next weekend um hold on oh no so next weekend I also have off because it's Hannah's birthday next week so I do have some family coming and we're not having a party but we are having a little get together and then any weekend after that I'm actually going to be working on Saturday as well so I'm only going to have one day off in the weekend well during the weekend so yeah things are going to be changing around here but yeah I thought I'd just do a spend the day with me and just show you whatever I get up to today to be honest the cleaning is pretty much done downstairs is an absolute tip that's just every single day that happens um yeah so first thing I'm going to do is make the kids some cocoa pops because they haven't eaten yet then we'll make my breakfast and I have already decided well this is what I'm thinking to make a tray bake for dinner tonight just because it's easy chuck everything in but then also maybe make a pasta bolognese for tomorrow night's dinner just so that it's done I can put it in the fridge once it's cooled and then at least that's sorted for tomorrow so that's the plan we'll see how it goes because you know by now nothing goes to plan I plan so much and it just doesn't go to plan so we're just going to roll with it and see um how the day goes but yeah let's just start making the girls their cereal and then we'll make my breakfast Right, for my breakfast, I'm going to put the kettle on because I desperately need a cup of tea. And then I'm just thinking, what do I want to eat today? I'm not sure. Let me just see what I can whip up and I'll show you when it's done. So here is a breakfast that I've created this morning. It's a bit of a mix and match. I honestly have never done it this way before, but I'm sure it's going to be really nice. It's just got a bit of everything on there. This is it. It actually looks really good. And so in case you care, um, there's a slice of sourdough with some butter. Then I've put some baked beans on there with some grated cheddar. Then we went on with some scrambled eggs and then finished off with some chives. The scrambled eggs do have salt, pepper and chilli flakes in there and they were cooked in avocado oil. So yeah, this is breakfast. Like I said, I've never had it this way before. I literally didn't know what I wanted but when I started cooking I just thought right let's just mix it up and try something new. So I'm sure it's going to be gorgeous. I mean, why wouldn't it be? It's going to be nice. But yeah, this is my breakfast today and then I do have a cup of tea to go with it. I'm just going to go sit down and relax and eat my breakfast and I'll see you guys shortly. So I'm just thinking of putting some bits on Vinted. Now I do have a Vinted account, I'll link it here. This is the username so if you want to search it. And I've already got some bits on there like from the kids, from holidays, things like that and even stuff that is mine and I no longer want it. So I'm thinking of maybe getting some new bits on there because I've just got so much stuff that I don't need any more so I'm just thinking of putting it on there so if you guys have kids or if you're interested in having a look um then just head to my vintage I just thought I'd mention it on here guys because I don't really use my Instagram um that much but also guys if you don't follow me on Instagram already then please do um this is the username and yeah I don't post on there lots but I do post here and there. But yeah, I just thought I'd mention Vinted on here in case you guys wanna check it out. Right guys, um, I have changed because I had Kiki's like hair all over me, but I've just um, cleaned, sort of cleaned downstairs, hoovered up, and I'm tempted to, well, I'm not tempted, I am going to steam clean the floors. Um, so I'm just getting everything out of the box. This steam cleaner I actually got from, I think it was Amazon a while ago, and it comes with like a floor attachment, you can use this one for like carpets, your car. You can even use this on like glass and windows. So it's really handy. And then the actual steam cleaner is quite small. So this is it, um, but it's just so handy. So I love using this on my floors. Even though we don't wear like shoes from outside indoors, um, the floor still gets so dirty and I find that 
when I use this honestly it you, that's how you know how dirty the floor can get but yeah you just like add all the attachments on here um, you actually have an attachment to use this actually on your carpet as well which I have done before so you just use this you put the cloth on and then you slip this over the top so this will glide on your carpets really nice and easily but I'm not going to be doing my carpets today I'm thinking to do the floors downstairs like basically the whole of downstairs and then I am tempted to just steam clean um, a few different places I could choose to actually sit down and relax or do this and I actually want to do this instead so um, yeah there's loads of attachments to be honest these ones I've never used there's even stuff like these little brush heads so if you really want to get into like hard to get to place oh my god there's even this so this is like um you know like the the scours that you get to clean like in your kitchen there's actually a little attachment can you see that is cool um but yeah i've only ever used it for like the floors and the carpets and obviously just like just using this to do my doors windows whatever but then you do get another nozzle so i'm just going to start with the floors because the floors desperately need doing so if i've got any sort of energy left over after that then i will refill this um and i'll just do as much as i can to be honest because i don't know why but i'm in the mood to steam clean today it's a bit of a weird thing to be in the mood for but yeah that's what we're gonna do and it's super easy to fill up you get the measuring jug with it fill it up with water and just pour it into this bit here now, I don't know how much actually fits in here. I'm sure it's more than one cup. So I'm going to do another half a cup and see how we get on. However, I'm not going to be filming myself doing this because I've got a lot of other stuff to be getting on with later, which I am going to show you. Um, you've seen me do this before, though, haven't you? Cleaning my kitchen floors and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm just going to crack on and plug this in. And then... Um, I'm going to catch up with you a little bit later because I do want to show you how I do that tray bake again just in case you missed the last one because it's honestly one of the favourite meals especially on a day where you haven't got the time and you haven't got the um, patience to do it I don't know if you can't be bothered basically it's a great one and you can change it up you can you don't have to do a chicken one you can put whatever you want in it but I just like to do it I've got some chicken legs so that's what I'm using um, yeah Talking about I wanted to make a like a pasta bolognese for later, I ended up checking to see how much pasta I've got. And this is so typical, the day I want to make something, this is all I've got. I've literally got half a packet of rigatoni. So, um, I might have to do like a pasta bolognese with the rest of that. And then maybe just make a, maybe some sort of a mince on the side. Maybe taco mince. I don't even know. We'll get to that when we get to that. Right, time to steam clean my floors. Guys, I received something in the post a few days ago, so I thought I'm going to open it on camera today because I want to get it unboxed and I want to make use of it. So let me just take it out of this outer box and then I'll show you what it is. So I've been sent this coffee machine from Am's Chef and I'm so, so excited to get this opened up and use it. So, I don't know if you guys know, but I'm not a hot coffee drinker at all. But when I saw this, I thought this is perfect for my husband because he loves coffee. He's like a coffee drinker, drinks it multiple times a day. And at the moment he is only using a coffee press to make his coffees. And I thought this would just be so nice for him to have a coffee machine and yeah, I'm gonna actually replace the Ninja Creamy for now because I normally use that in the summer to make ice cream. Now that we're on the way to winter, I'm gonna put that away and I'm gonna replace it with this coffee machine. So I'm gonna get it unboxed. I'm really excited that I've got this. Okay, here is the coffee machine. I've just put it where it's going to go permanently. And look at this. It actually looks so nice. I'm so excited to try this out. So let me just get the manual out and I'm actually going to attempt to make a coffee because my husband is on his way home now and I think it's a perfect time making a coffee and yeah, I think he's going to be chuffed. 
Right, so in the box you do get this, what your actual coffee goes into. I don't know what this bit is, but we'll see. Or maybe you can, oh, I don't actually know. But you get this, and then you also get your little scoop for the coffee. Um, so let me bring this closer. It's actually got a water tank at the back. And I guess you just lift that up and this is how you fill it up. So that's really good. So you can actually see how much water is remaining in the machine. But yeah, I am just gonna take a look at the manual just to see how this works. I'm excited to make a nice hot coffee. So this coffee machine does actually come with a frother, which is amazing because we can make a nice thick um, frothy coffee. Right, I've just put you guys there so you can actually see what I'm doing. I'm just looking through the manual. So fill the water tank with cold water up to the max level of the tank. Let's do that first. All right, max is all the way up there, so I don't actually need that much, but let's pour some water in. Let's just go halfway. Then it says press the power button. Power indicator light turns on and the coffee machine starts to preheat automatically. Once the preheating is finished, all the buttons will light up continuously. This preheating process takes about two minutes. Place a cup under the steam wand, turn on the steam, let the hot water flow out of the steam wand for about eight seconds, then turn off. So I just used the dial at the side of the machine and it's kind of just got rid of some of the excess. Right, there are just a few bits that I just need to do before we use it for the first time. So let me just skip all of this because it's just, basically we are gonna pop the filter in, let it run and yeah, it's just kind of to start this up for the first use. So I'll be back when I'm actually ready to make the coffee. Right, I think we're ready to try it out now. I think I've done everything that I needed to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is fill this with some coffee, which I have got here. So we're gonna pop some coffee in and then sort of press it down a tiny bit more, maybe that much, and just push that down. Can you even see that? Right, pushed it down and I think this is ready now. So we're just going to lock this into place. Right, I think that's locked into place now. And then we are going to pop a cup underneath and I'm gonna try the double shot, I think. Right, I'm just gonna press this twice for the double cup, and I guess we're just gonna wait for that to start. I hope I've done it right. Right, got the coffee, and now I'm about to froth the milk, so I've just put some milk in this little jug. And I guess we're just gonna try and froth it. Right, I've done frothing the milk. Now I guess we're just going to pour it into our cup of coffee. Right, my coffee is now completely done. So that's how it's turned out. It's actually turned out really good. I mean, you can do it in so many different ways, but I told you that I'm not really a coffee drinker, so I, I don't really know which options there are, but we will be trying different ones out. But yeah, this is how it turned out. So thank you to Anne's Chef for sending this coffee machine out. I will link it down below. So if you do want to check it out, you can head to the description box below this video and you'll see all the details. But yeah, we'll be... Um, trying out loads of different coffees in this just to see how it works and um, I'll keep you updated. Right I'm just about to start on my tray bake um, I need to get it in the oven because it takes about an hour and a half or so so I've got some chicken legs so I'm just going to chuck them into my tray first. So I've got my chicken legs I'm just going to kind of spread these out on to my tray and then for seasoning, I'm actually not going to be marinating this in 100 plus ingredients like some of you say. Today, I'm gonna to keep it simple and I'm actually gonna be trying this seasoning. So this is the Amina's Butter Chicken for barbecue, roasting, oven and grill. So I've never actually tried this one before. It smells quite nice. So I'm just gonna 
So I'm just going to go for it and I'm going to add, I'm going to start with this much and then let me just get some gloves on and I'm going to rub that into my chicken. Right, got my gloves on and I'm just going to get this marinade rubbed onto the chicken. Because I've never tried it before, I'm not sure if it's going to be really strong or overpowering. I'm not sure, but I will let you guys know. But I have tried some of the other flavours that she has, um, the Amina's seasoning, well, the marinades. And to be honest, they are super, super nice. But this is one that I had in the house, but I've never actually used it. So I thought, you know what, let me just try it out today. I may as well, because, I mean, why not? This is all going to be going into the oven and yeah, today I just thought, do you know what, let me make a tray bake because it's super easy. I still need to make my bolognese. I've actually got some spaghetti now and um, so yeah, I'm not going to be using like the rigatoni. I think I'm just going to go straight for the spaghetti and just make like a spag bol. But the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to mix all of the bolognese sauce in with the spaghetti rather than just serving some on top. That's just the way I prefer it. I mean, each to their own. But yeah, that's the way I like it. And I think my chicken is pretty much coated in this marinade. And then I'm gonna remove the gloves now and we're gonna chop up all the other ingredients. So I'm starting off with some onion. You can use as much or as little as you like. I'm just gonna see, I might not use the whole thing actually, that might be too much. So I'm gonna start with about half. And just kind of break it like up and you want to put it all over. Yeah, I think half is actually more than enough for this. I don't want too much onion. Right, the onion is in. Now I'm going to move on to potatoes. So I've got a mixture of sweet potatoes and normal potatoes. So I'm going to um, peel some and then we're just going to chop them up and add them on top as well. Right, so we've got all of the potatoes in there now, just a mixture of both. I don't know if you can see that, but the potatoes are in. And next thing I'm gonna grab is some bell peppers because they turn out so nice as well. So I think I'm gonna do two bell peppers. I've got a green one and an orange one. And yeah, they just turn out so, so nice once they have been roasted. So let me just give these a quick rinse. And then you just want to add them on top as well. Okay, peppers are on there. What else? So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to sprinkle some salt and some garlic granules over the top. You can add any other seasoning if you want to, but I'm just doing this because the potatoes haven't been seasoned. So I'm kind of focusing on them. And then I'm gonna use this sea salt flakes that I got the other day. I haven't used these yet. I'm just gonna sprinkle the salt over the top. I don't know how much to add, so we're just gonna go with that much. Right, the next thing I have is I've got some, I've got two um, stock cubes in there, just the veggie ones. I'm going to add some water to them and just mix them in so they can dissolve. And then to that water, I'm actually going to add some olive oil. Not a lot, you just want a little bit. And then also a little squeeze of tomato puree. I don't always do this, but sometimes I do. And honestly, there's always some sort of um, liquid that goes in. It just helps keep the chicken really nice and soft and not dry out. And it also helps like all your veggies cook down really quickly. So once that's all mixed in, you are literally going to pour this over everything. Okay, so that is literally everything. Um, but what I do like to do is I do like to just cut up tiny pieces of butter and just place them over the top. It just honestly adds so much flavor. You don't have to, but I'm going to. So I've just got like little pieces of butter that I'm just going to put over the top like this. And then we're just gonna cover this with some foil and put it into the oven. So I've got my oven at about 220, I'm gonna leave it on, um, leave the foil on and let it cook for around about an hour, 50 minutes to an hour, and then I'll remove the foil and let this continue cooking on about 200 for another 30 minutes or so. And you'll just know when it's done because everything will be golden brown, the chicken will be fully done, the potatoes will be nice and soft. And yeah, I guess you're gonna see this once it's fully done. So that is now in the oven. I'm actually gonna crack on with the spaghetti bolognese because I might as well do it now I'm in the kitchen. And I also need to tidy up this mess behind me. So I'll see you once my tray bake is out of the oven and maybe the spag bowl will be done by then as well. 
Here is my tray bake. I'm actually gonna leave this in a little bit longer, but I am gonna take some out for the kids because they are starving. But how good does that look? I just like my chicken to be a little bit more golden brown, but the potatoes are super soft. And I'm actually gonna make some gravy out of this, like the juices of the chicken. And I'm gonna mix some gravy granules in there and it's just going to be delicious. Right guys, that dinner was really, really, really yummy. Turns out perfect every single time. So make sure you try it out. It's so easy to do and it just saves you like hanging about in the kitchen when you're cooking. You can just pop it in the oven and like I said, you just take off the foil after about 50 minutes to an hour and then just let everything cook, but yeah. I've just cleaned up now. I finished the spaghetti bolognese. I've just mixed it all together and I'm just waiting for that to cool down. Once it has, I'm just gonna pop it in the fridge and that's dinner sorted for tomorrow. Um, yeah, I've just come upstairs. I um, think I'm going to get changed into some comfies and just kind of relax for the rest of the night. But here's Kiki. She was sleeping, wasn't you? And I switched the light on and it just woke her up. Poor thing. But, um, yeah, that's it really guys. I think um, I'm gonna be closing off this video here because I just wanna relax now. I'm not gonna be doing anything else that you guys will want to see. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And yeah, spending the day with me. It's been a bit of a busy day, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I've constantly been doing something. Um, I did end up steam cleaning the floor earlier and a few of the bits um, and then I got straight on to cooking. Um, yeah. So that's been my day and I just need to kind of relax and get ready for another week of work. I'm going to try my best to sort of film throughout the week. It might be something like the last vlog where I'm filming bits throughout the week and just keeping you updated on how it's been going. Um, but yeah, I think it's going to be a bit of an intense week this week because it's literally the final week of training. It was a two week training um, course, if you want to call it and um yeah i think by friday we're just gonna be doing the actual job like we are going to go live and do the job um and then the week after that i'm literally my own boss like you don't have anyone watching over you just crack on and do the job obviously there is someone there if you really need them you just need to kind of call them um, but I hope I'm confident enough where I don't need that sort of guidance and I can just crack on with it. Um, but yeah, that's about it. I don't know if I mentioned in my last video, but for like the first eight weeks, it's sort of like a development phase. So the shifts are sort of limited. So I can only pick a shift between 12 and midday to like 10 or 11 at night, which is going to be a struggle for me because... I like my own early mornings, don't I? I love working early morning. Uh, but I think from January, hopefully, the times will open up like 24 hours a day, whatever shift you want to pick, depending on the availability. So it's going to be much better from January because then I can pick some early morning shifts because honestly, starting the actual job at 12 o'clock is going to be killing me because some nights I am working up until 9 p.m., which I don't know how I'm going to do. I'm actually going to suffer because I'm an early bird. I go to bed early and I get up early. So like finishing work at nine o'clock for me is just ridiculous, but we're gonna do it anyway, aren't we Kiki? Yeah, we're just gonna get on with it. Um, and yeah, I just hope it's good. I, I just can't wait to get to January. I wanna sk skip this like next few weeks because obviously the kids are gonna break up for Christmas as well. Oh my God, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I am gonna struggle, but um, yeah, that's pretty much it guys. I am just gonna chill out now. Look how cute Kiki looks. Honestly, she blends into my room so perfectly. She's literally the perfect color. She blends into the background so well. Oh, you tired. But yeah guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you really soon in my next one.